हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट वीटी काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस 2024 ट्वेंटी फोर एंड टेक ऑल द स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइडलाइंस एंड ऑल द डिटेल्स सो डेट यू डोंट मिस ऑन एनी ऑफ दोस सो फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज सबमिशन ऑफ वीटी एप्लीकेशन फॉर विच वॉज डन ऑलरेडी स्टेप नंबर टू वॉज एप्लीकेशन वेरिफिकेशन एंड स्क्रूटिनी विच इज ऑलरेडी डन then the step 3 was generate link for test slot booking for the candidates it's already done test slot booking and center booking and the admit card generation was the step 4 which is already done by most student fifth step was to appear for vt 2024 and most of the students have already appeared and some students will appear in next 3 4 days now the next step is the declaration of the vt 2024 result so result will be declared on 3rd of may 2024 the next step will be then the announcement of online counseling based on the vt 2024 ranks so students will be called off for the online counseling and students up to 1.5 lakh rank range will be given the opportunity to, to participate in the online counseling so online counseling is going to happen between may 3rd to june 10th in four phases let's see the fair four phases so phase number 1 is for the students who has got the rank between 1 rank to 20000 rank and they will be called to participate in the seat allocation between 7 to 8 so 7th on 7th and 8th the result will be declared for the first round of seat allotment for the students between 20000 ranks to 45000 rank it will be called phase 2 and the seat allocation will happen on may 18th and 19th student with the rank 45000 to 70000 will be qualifying only for the phase 3 and their seat allocation will happen on may 29 to 30 and students between 70000 to 1 lakh rank will qualify for the phase 4 and their rank allocation will happen between june 9 and 10th and all the students who got the ranks above 1 lakh will only be eligible for vit andhra pradesh and vit bhopal uh, you know campuses up to 1 lakh can apply for all the campuses but if your ranks are above 1 lakh then you can only apply for vit ap or vit bhopal counseling will happen after 10th of june not before that for all the students who got the rank above 1 lakh next is the step number 8 which is program wish list by the candidates this is nothing but a choice filling so depending on the branches available and different campuses student will have to do choice filling ordering from which they want to take the seats then the step number 9 will be the provisional admission letter to btech program students based on the merit right and then you will have to pay the fees required right so fees payment will be based on the category wise and you can see the link in the i button top where fees details are available and i have made the previous video which you can check now and the step number 10 will be called document verification right and after this your admission process will be complete so let me show the set of documents which you need to carry so document submission on admission will be like original documents and copy of provisional letter right your allotment letter 12th mark statements of all attempts of qualifying examination so in some states there are two attempts given for class 12 so both the at all the attempts you can have to bring it transfer certificate or the school leaving certificate migration certificate if it is issued by the board student profile you have to create your profile on the admissions.vit.ac backslash freshers portal underscore login with student by and assigned by student and parent so this is also very important step then you have to bring affidavit there is a affidavit by students right which needs to be brought it is more towards the anti ragging you know thing right so you do you will not participate in anti ragging 
similarly there is affidavit by parents also which you need to bring signed and notarized by the law legal person right that you will not participate in the ragging process so one for you and one for one signed by your parents so two are required then there is a also an hostel affidavit which is re re required to be signed by notarized and they will give the template which hostel affidavit you need to uh, get the signature by notarized people then th then there is a certificate of physical fitness that you are physically fit you have to get it by a medical practitioner again they will give the template and you will have to get in that particular template signed by medical practitioner and all this template link you can see see the link is given in my bullet point so you can directly download from there at that point of time next is the undertaking form right there is a, a simple undertaking which has to be signed by a student and parent you can again download from this website and you can get it next is the recent passport size photograph two copies so these documents along with that you will have to bring copy of documents like one set of xerox so xerox you need to bring about your aadhar card or the age proof certificate you have to bring the xerox of your 10th and 12th mark sheets transfer certificates xerox also you need to bring migration certificate xerox and community certificate if you are belonging from sc st only and nativity certificate for candidates who are from jammu and kashmir ladakh and northeastern states and apart from that if you are nri or foreign students you also need to bring your passport copy xerox students by and parent one and employer certificate original sponsor letter original this is required only for foreign students nri all the copies of documents will be archived and will not be returned to any reason for any reason so xerox will be not returned to the students so these are all the set of documents you require and uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the happenings from vt take care and bye